my god. Oh, frick. Oh, Hi. <laughs> you, you one. We should have just all said it. You could have kept the meme going, it's fine. Okay. Should, that's I just what I'm, we're going to do for the I whole I probably stream, didn't miss say much. Over over again for an hour. Yeah, basically. Uh, brace yourself for some bad humor repeating. We are like a, a, a group of dads, of which all of us are not. So, uh, Future dad humor skilling is strong updates. in this team, regardless. I've got so, um, I have to say. <laughs> My dad energy is very um, strong. That, that, that is getting clipped so bad. What did you do, Mojack? <laughs> I didn't say daddy. What are they now talking you did. about? Um, okay, so what hi. The heck uh, did I, get, oh what are God, they talking gonna, about? I can see this being a VSVAC stream. I'm, I'm not going to hold it together on this stream. So let's get into it. Um, for those of you who didn't see, we did something a little unconventional. Normally we're dropping blogs at the end of a stream. Um, today we dropped it an hour before the stream. Oh. That is because there are so many words in that blog. Uh, we Wait, felt like it was probably a good idea a to let you try and digest some of what we okay. wanted to get across they, uh, in what, this right-click examine. As right you know, we try and put the developer's content. voice, so you really got kind of a Modjack live stream uh, the in a blog thing combined with a Mod Breezy like in-depth content stream in a uh, sorry, uh, yes, content stream in a blog. So. A lot to digest, but hopefully you've oh read it. God. If not, we're going to give you quickly a little bit Bro, of a recap of what we so talked to you much... about. And what really is this? What we're to hear from you on, and this, we like want freaking... this stream to really be a discussion. Five so what we'd really love to do is, essay. as what Jack's going through, and explain this whether you've read the blog or not yet. We'd just love to hear from you. Drop us questions in the chat. Why this? Why that? Or let us know you love the idea. Or oh my God, penetration! What is this? To make you love the idea. Um, just join the discussion as we go, and we'd just love to talk to you. And we just want to kick off the discussion uh, live on stream. So, with that in mind, Mod Jack. Do you want to give us a quick run through of what is it we are proposing today before we go into mining and smithing as a specific this just, this just looks like skilling update? What is the general thing we're talking about today in our, uh, when it comes to our plans for skilling updates? Okay. So, what, what yeah, it's definitely what worth are? reading the blog um, if you're interested. But to, to, the so quick long. summary is essentially that we want to start taking skills to 110, which I think is a bit out of nowhere because people would expect us to take them to 120. 110? Um, the main okay. reason for this is we just want to get back into the habit of shipping regular Skilling content. I mean, um, hey, we've, 110 we've, is we better than 99. We used to ship a lot of We so, haven't been shipping so many Skilling so updates, and I want to make sure I'm cool with that. we are delivering that I'm kind of cool content, as well as everything else. I think, if, you know, if you look at the roadmap, you can see the huge variety. So they're of not going on to part of it. Yeah. But we want to make sure that Skilling content is there as a purpose, as a reason for being there. Um, and then, and taking this, you know, raising the skill cap to 110 does a lot for us. Yeah, that's um, right. that's the, right. the main thing is, making sure i would say xp matters i think that's probably the simplest simplest summary a lot of the game is just built around xp what one of the fa most fascinating pieces of feedback i hear from people who've got 200 mil is that they just miss the pop-ups right now obviously 200 mil is quite an extreme example but broadly speaking runescape makes sense when xp matters and and raising skill caps makes xp matter but uh, right. taking everything to 120 produces these sort of mega updates um, and so in the interest of having like regular, interesting, but not like hey, gigantic I agree updates, with Modjack. Let's take them to they don't have the time so to make a one. In that sense, it's kind of an experiment. And, the main and when thing they did with Necromancy, is, does like, this make sense? Like, look at like, Necromancy. Think it's the right thing to do. We think it, it, it would have been better if it was at 110 instead of 120. Because like, what, does, know, it, it, what does it Necromancy level to, 110 to, to 120 do for the skill? So we have plenty of time to I don't think there's any content. It literally doesn't do anything. else. So if Necromancy went to 110, so it would have been way smarter. I think the question I've seen in chat as well, and we had obviously covered it in vlogs, so we anticipated it. There's some people saying, why not 120? There's also some questions in here saying, like, why not 109? Why 119? Why not 129? Like, what is specifically making us say 110 feels right, and this is what we want to put in front of the community? Well, 110 is clearly in between um, I, think, I feel like 109 is probably the easiest one to answer, which is just it's just a nice round number. I do When I started <laughs> no, looking at this, 109 I looks so thought ugly. <laughs> the hardest question was... Does it go to 100? Because 99 to 100 is kind of a weird, like, you can't raise skills to 100, it doesn't really make sense. But then, actually, when I sat down and just tried out what it looked like, oh, no, 110 works. It unlo so the new unlocks unlock at 100, they go to 110. So it works like basically the rest of the rest of the, of the skill in a, if the skill is tiered like mining and smithing which Bro, skills are but there's a are logical people tiering like oh that. make it 113 um, like that i think people would expect ugly. you know across the combat skills and the manufacturing skills for example they have these they have these logical One, tiers 110 to them. it doesn't makes the most sense. really matter it literally so much makes the, the most sense. Like, so some of the skills are sort of 
not tiered in that way and the answer is sort of slightly arbitrary 113. Numbers, so much, but there's just a logic to it so why not 109 the answer is just it's it's a round number essentially it looks nice it would look mm -hmm. a bit odd like 99 is a special number in runescape but 109 is not a special number it just looks weird <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I, I guess, like, is there a benefit for us doing 110? I know we talked about this a little bit in the blog um, around Cadence, but is there a specific oh, benefit of these yes, kind of more, more let's skilling. go 110 and then we can go to oh 120 versus God. just going full 120? Why not just make uh, the full jump well, and do less? How far I away am I from 109 question. or 110? I, I, think, I feel like the, be, the best way I can explain it in that sense is, like, imagine... imagine the, the mining and smithing update, which we'll actually in more detail, but essentially, you know, it's it's a new rock. If we made a 120 update, then if we follow the pattern of the existing mining and smithing updates, it would be two new rocks, two new tiers of metal. Um, so you'd be kind of rushing through the first tier to get to the second tier. Now, that's fine. I mean, we can create Set that content level, target, level on the sort of problem. But what if we just took the same dev team at uh, dev time and made one tier oh. of, of smithing updates? Okay, so content, I'm already one 110. Of okay. Then we've got essentially the Set same level target, amount of content, but spread across oh, the yeah. skills. Oh, heck yeah. I don't have any skilling. Good combat balance. It's good to I'm 110 mining smithing already. And it means that those, that content stays relevant for longer rather than just being something you skip over to get to the next bit of content. So just it just feels like win-win-win to me. I should advertise um, this to, on to, Discord to do it in that way. To do that. We, could, we could take the you know the dev time from a mining and smithing update and a woodcutting and fetching update, combine them together into a mega update. But to me, that looks like essentially less... Less updates and no, and I, I like what they decided to do. Going it's into better. the game that matters, I guess. Yeah, I saw a few people ask this, and LCJH, you're the person I've seen most recently ask it. So uh, thank you to everyone else who's asked this. But um, wait, what are they asking? I how do you ensure they're... that the content um, that feels meaningful and not just content to essentially like fill a void? Like, what's kind of the thought process going into what these one tens are going to bring to the game? Um, so it's it's really important that the skill do something like my basic criteria for a skill and not all of our skills meet this and this is like it's quite important to me for a design perspective it's quite hard to fix is like a That's... skill should have at least one what a jank question it. like it should have at least one clear purpose in the game which if possible yeah is i mean i agree with mod jack and that purpose should sort of remain true from low level to high level making like, like the, the skill, skill have at least meaningful one clear thing that it does for you. means um Doing the and, skill and so in in that sense, like we want there to be new outside of the fact the that you're raising just leveling the level up cap a skill. Is that if we don't raise the level cap, like fire making, we have to, we have to feel so unrewarding because you just do it um, to level so up the, the skill. There's an, no reason like to do it. Is is the uh, the reward shop that came with um, Garden of Crid was a way of introducing new rewards mm. that you can unlock. And so essentially, the question then becomes: Would you rather have your unlocks delivered through a reward shop? Wait, so. Some, so what level is what a reward XP shop is or leveling to get a new level set unlock. level target and 110 the way i see it leveling to get a new level unlock is just the more runescape way of doing it because mm. it, it plays it's into so like, many other mechanics or existing bonuses and rewards and 30 and, and things play into 39 ish that. Um, mil your existing optimal strategies. Okay, so <laughs> you got to get all your Whereas levels a, to 39. You know, a new piece of gameplay or a reward shop doesn't have those elements. What the heck? There was uh, some interesting comments about, like, um, I think, surprise me, I shouldn't have because there's a lot of people out there who have spent really lots of t hard time and effort on their virtual levels and probably love to, to get that new 120 cape. Um, but saying, why don't we just make it 120, add the content to 110, and then fill in the content to 120 later. What's your thoughts on that at this stage? I know we just have been getting that feedback. Mm, okay, I mean, that is true. About? We could do that. Thoughts on it? I, I, I mean, I think the, the straightforward answer to that would be that my, my interpretation of the feedback that we've seen before and after the blog in terms of the way players talk about it is that more people would rather that there was content than not content, essentially. It, 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 I don't see an obvious design reason why we have to do it one way or the other. But the, the 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 strength of feeling I've seen is that more players would prefer there to not be empty levels. Yeah, I think that's no, something we I, like, I, I like. Just to speak honestly about I it, I think it looks think really look really go, silly for there to be empty a, levels. A like fair bit of a gap there, especially since we changed the critical. So I would um, actually prefer kind of what they're doing within right now. that. That from 107 ish, where you get that fourth conjo all the way to 120. Like, let me. Um, let that me was look definitely something the, I felt uh, like we heard quite loud and clear from that. Did that factor in? Let me look at. 
never yeah, made yeah, serial exactly. fast. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there was there was there was a lot of loud feedback see, on that. And I mean, we can look back as well. At, you know, look the, at this. the original Slayer 120 update. Look, was one of the big everything. The big complaints. This about is that all the necromancy upgrades. That 107 to one target, but we didn't to 120. Content. There's literally. Um, nothing. I don't think. In, 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 I've been so actually thinking about that. They in could have just that. released necromancy um, to 110. There is something to be said. It would have been allowing room for expansion. It would have been the exact same thing. For example, that you need the goal to exist before you can introduce the gameplay that helps you reach that goal. It doesn't make sense the other way around. And I think a lot of where we've gone a bit off the rails in terms of content is we've... I've been, I've been thinking about this in terms of PVM balancing, that this is applying the same logic to scaling of. You need there to be a goal. But the PVM example is, for a okay. powerful weapon to matter, you need a powerful boss to kill with that powerful weapon. If you just give you the powerful weapon, but never actually provide... Oh my build. God, Mod Jack! You're it's, speaking it's my language. You need the goal to exist. You're speaking my language. That's so, what I've so been saying for years. One of the questions that's coming up a lot. Where it, are it the powerful up bosses? Up a lot of these discussions with various people internally is is well, what about active skilling? Like what you know? What, what about things like big game hunter for other other um, other skills? And this this uh, funnily enough, this came up in the design of uh, Fort Forty Three actually. That that we realized that we couldn't compete with mahogany on a portable what? but the only way out of that is basically to nerf it and so then in this sense like if we want say we want to oh, introduce they're talking an about minigame like training Hunter, construction? at the moment what? in most skills post priftiness the passive leveling methods are so fast that actually an active method to give the xp that you need kind of wouldn't serve any purpose like we could add that content, but it wouldn't really serve any purpose in a lot of skills. Big Game Hunter actually came with a nerf to existing content, and I think we would prefer not to do that. Um, I'm not saying we can't, but we would prefer... I think a lot of players would agree with the designer ideology of, like, if you can avoid nerfing, avoid nerfing. And this is one of the ways we can avoid nerfing. By giving Who is Mod more Breezy? Runway, he has not said a single thing to actually this whole live game, stream yet. Like, why do they even bring him on? With better rewards, because there's no point putting the effort in if you don't need the better rewards. Uh, there's a there's a kind of question that's come through quite often. I think one of the ones we were most expecting with this, obviously breezy. We're going to go into mining and swifting pretty shortly here. Oh, okay. To I guess kind he's of the, like the first content in this series. He's like well, we the developer of the We kind of have approached this in the blog. We've talked about this idea of wanting to add content, much of it being within the similar vein of how you already skill. So, for example, with mining, swifting, okay. ores and bars, etc. Uh, and where it's not really about a brand new way of doing it, like construction contracts, was the construction, etc. Okay, so What's it's just going to be the same old boring mining that? Is, does, is that a philosophy that would apply to every update? Is it something that we're thinking of now, but could change? I guess, like, just a wide open question there of, do we have any thoughts in that area? So a part of the reason that we, we went first with mining and smithing is because it's the easiest to deal with, I think, of, of the skills. It's sort of been organized. It's been reworked. For other skills, um, All right, that's fair. it's harder that's to, fair. To, to, to just extend the skill. So the next one we're looking at is woodcutting and fletching, and we've started having... We, we, we had some sur slightly surreptitious discussions about this on Discord last week. Um, you were looking at it in Game Jam, weren't you, Breezy? But um, we sort of started surreptitiously discussing the design for that. The question of whether or not the skill needs reworking it's very much a matter of just the size of the update and the, and, and the state of the skill. So the, the main priority for me is I don't want the update to not happen because the scope expands mm -hmm. into an update, which is just too large. Our priority right now, as of the roadmap, is shipping lots of regular content. We want that to happen. And like giant updates are kind of the enemy of that, where we go like, oh, well, we can't do this because we also need to... The, the mining and smithing rework I used to comment on, actually implementing the mining and smithing was, was, was fairly straightforward. It was like a four-month project or something like that. It's actually quite small. What what made that project a gigantic project was going back and fixing every single um, reward and mechanic that tied in with mining and smithing. That took a year. Mm. The actual implementation of the rework was tiny. All of the fixes and making sure everything worked consistently, that, that was more than twice the size of actually implementing the rework in the first place. And I don't want a risk where that happens and stops us from shipping updates. That's the main thing I want. So we need to ship that content. Now, if we can about still comp do cave. work at the same time, if we can still go back and fix well, everything else at the same go to time, 110. I, I very probably much want not. us to, new but I don't want to do that to at the risk of, of just having the update turn into this gigantic skill-sized update. So it, it really depends on the skill. So, I mean, w again, without promising anything specific, because we haven't sat down and, and, and looked at the scope or, or what this is, but I think, I mean, you and I, Breezy, very much want to, like, re-tier fletching. 
um, yeah, absolutely. and make sure that is. But we may, and if if we look at wood cutting, and there's well, something that we brain's can brain's not going to be happy. So you know, we can identify some problems with wood cutting. <laughs> They're not re tearing, fletching. It's. I don't mean it's competitive, but in a bad way, because if you see someone else, you're like, well, I don't want them chopping down my tree. I'm going to go somewhere else. If we can make relatively straightforward Wait, why, fixes that heck? fix that not... without requiring us to essentially right. rework every single wood cutting tie-in in the game, then we should. If, if, if that's a cost-effective thing that we can do as part of the update, we definitely should rework that. But if it's like a mining and smithing style rework, 18-month project for devs, if that would stop the update from coming, then we shouldn't do that. So it, it, it really depends, case by case. Yeah, so just what, for in case anyone who didn't uh, catch so kind this of our tells talk me... on uh, the Discord stage we did after the roadmap stream, there's a huge focus for us on the RuneScape team is it's not just working more invol and involving you more, but it's also about recognizing that we have often made decisions that have led to us not being consistent in our content delivery. Um, that is a huge focus for the team right now is Consistent it's updates, just telling me that the, the, the that wood cutting you, and fletching that you want. update is not uh, going to be is as sure, big as but we like, thought. We want to make sure we're it's probably adding new things for you to get stuck gonna into. Be um, and if you look at it, this within the minor. roadmap, I'm sure you've all seen it. I'd be shocked if any of you haven't at this point. Um, you know, this is one of many. Because um, I think so, so it's been a really last, interesting discussion to be part of here on the team. In the last it's been really interesting your brains, initial reaction to it too. We talked Never about quite how know, right? we wanted to put this out. We in front wanted of the, the wood and cutting validate, fletching and there's been to some really good discussion already. So thank you. Add more gear. I think one big uh, question I'm seeing um, that is quite funny. And now, um, I'm, now I'm thinking it's not uh, going to be that. Obviously, well, it might still be players, that. We all want to know about our not, capes, right? Totally get you, scapers. I hear every one of you that I'm, saying this in chat. Totally, totally understand why you're asking this. So Mod Jack, 110, does it get a cape? What's going on? We, at the moment, Frick the no. logical thing to me seems to be that yeah, there's when too many we get caves. close to the end of... So, so I don't think the, there should be a cape. I, I, I want to be there's careful. There's already a 120 plan, cape. Just get the freaking 120 and, and cape. So the plan, in the sense that the intention at current, would be to gradually bring every skill to 110. If that's a bad plan, if that doesn't work for some reason and we need to change, we should change it. We shouldn't just keep doing it because we said it was a plan. So I say, I, I just want to make that clear in case it's like, well, this is our plan and we can't change it. Um, it makes sense to me that as we get towards having all skills go to 110, assuming that we continue to do that, that we would have a 110, <laughs> if that makes sense to me or something oh, to People do. are still talking um, about the inverted but games. not to worry about that at the moment. I, I, already, um, I already voiced my in opinion the interim, on that. We have 99 all, we have 120 all. Those Prestige still skills change, are coming. Stay as they are. The, the, the big contentious one is what, what is on comp. Um, the obvious answer to me seems to be a grace period, but we're interested in feedback on how people think that should work. I wasn't expecting to do, I wouldn't expect to do individual 110 capes. We could, we could do that. Yeah, I was say, I, chat, I, I, chat, I chat thought... does not seem team 110 capes, which is why I wanted to ask that question, because it's an interesting... 110, so 110, a 110 all cape makes sense at the point when you can legit Okay, 110 sure, a 110 all cape is just like a one cape. I don't see 110 cape, individual sure. capes as being, uh, like, particularly, like, the, the, the point here is not to, like, make 110 the new exciting number, it's to get good mm -hmm. content out. Right, so we, we yeah, we, yeah stop I don't. Us making they they could just not do anything with like one ten. Exciting, an it's, just, it's just the <laughs> if you feel different, milestone. We, do that, no. we can all, those, that's something we can very easily add retrospectively if we wanted to. Cool. Right. Um, there are there's still lots of discussion to have. Um, we are going to move on to mining smithing just for time, so we have a shorter time allowance today. Um, and then I will come back at the end and make sure we get more questions, more discussion going on this. Um. If you do have feedback on this, we've been watching chat as always. We keep a close eye on chat and we're recording what you're saying. We also invite you to go to our Discord where you can give your opinion in the right click examine uh, channels. Also, there's already discussion threads on Reddit where you can drop your feedback. We also can hear from you on uh, Twitter and um, or X as it's called it, now, it, Facebook. Wh wh what have they even talk, said? Like, we're listening. Our Discord the is the only kind of thing they said spot so far right is that. Examine series, but, um, we're, oh, we're the, the you go. skills are also got the mining, that smithing, woodcutting, um, fletching are going to go to one ten. As well, for feedback. But that but doesn't yeah, tell us anything about. This. And we want to hear from you. What we want to know is. Is that really like a fucking controversial thing? Like, I don't think that is. What, <laughs> especially in the context of what you're about to hear. They, with don't, they don't have enough content to go to one twenty. Is the ring going to Concerns you have? What else are you talking about? We want to hear it all because this would be really helpful for us to go. Is this something What's the we actual do? content? Maybe is it something we have to consider and, and rethink about? 
um, this is where we want your voice to make sure we're doing something that you think is great for RuneScape 2. Um, so let us know. And on that note, I'm going to pass two. over to... Uh, now I'm Cliff. I'm getting Cliff today. Uh, and on that note, so let's go over to Breezy and obviously Jack, you as well. But So let's talk about oh the first God, content painful. update um, in this style for skilling, which would be mining and smithing. So Breezy, you dropped a ton of information today, arguably almost a full reveal <laughs> in many respects, uh, minus but, a lot of visuals. Okay, Walk us here, through here's what the is content, mining here's and the smithing. Content. Um, for uh, our skilling, our plan skilling update. Yeah, yeah. So the the blog that was released today was was quite detailed, um, just because it accompanies uh, Mod Jack's blog about one ten skill. So we really wanted it to give a, sure. like a real look as to what an example of a, of a one ten skill update looks like. Um, so that's why it's as detailed as it is. Um, okay. But as for what you do, so for one ten mining and smithing, we're going to be introducing. Uh, what we've called so far demon hand mining and primal smithing um so the next tier of ore as a progression beyond elder rune is oh. going to be uh re revolving all around uh, the, the dungeoneering ores and being able to make primal oh rune, that's why uh, they did the demon hand archaeology thing um, okay so with okay. level 100 mining you'll be able to mine all the dungeoneering ores uh, on the, on the surface world and then you'll be able to take those ores, mine them all together, and make primal bars for which you'll be making the armor, weapons, and tools to train uh, your skills uh, from 100 to 110. Um, and then on top of that, we've also got uh, a new reward for reaching 110 smithing, which is the masterwork two-handed sword. Uh, and also for mining, uh, the, the new, what we've called uh, the new augmented pickaxe, which will be an upgrade to your earthen song. So that's going to be the next new tier of, of tier 100 tools. And we'll be starting with that. So it really is kind of a 10 level package, at least in our current kind of thinking of using this to, to go to 110. I guess the first question I want to get to, I, I hate to jump to this. Uh, it's just I've seen it a lot on in the initial community reaction. And I know uh, people in, in chat are already, yeah, as I expected, already mentioning it. Let's talk about the masterwork to hand very quickly. Obviously, we're early in the designs of this. Is it going to be a halberd? Um, what, we had some questions on the... If you come coming off the back of our second not going to be a Howard, stream, like, yeah, we've been talking about tier ninety five magic it's, jewel wield, and we've kind of given that hint that there might be something that takes you beyond tier ninety five. Where does masterwork two hand sword fit into something that's viable or interesting or valuable to okay. players going forward? If the two H has the like thing an thing actual about? effect, so I, I can't talk about the insane. final balancing, um, but I was I was talking to Mod Ryan about this. Earlier I think today, it should. Our, our expectation basically. Is, so thanks. They, they made a um, Ryan and Sponge made a change to how accuracy mechanics work recently, where rather than missing, which is just annoying, your damage gets proportionally reduced. So we've we've adopted a habit of having everything have very low defense because splashing is is annoying. Now that we've made that change to how damage works, we can put higher defense back in. So I don't have any specific yes. numbers or balancing, but the basic expectation I is defense. that Sanctum of Rebirth will have we talked about um, that. enemies with fairly high defense. We talked and about that it. That means that the tier and accuracy of your weapon matter so that's that's what we're trying to achieve here is for quite a while now accuracy hasn't really been that important because we were intentionally and artificially lowering defense values so if we get back to a point where accuracy matters but without having splash scape then that means that high tier weapons can be useful even without having extra effects in the case where um you already have a tier 95 and obviously there's this talk about whether or not you'll be able to upgrade it or not um we don't expect the masterwork weapon to replace those. Um, our, our intention is not to create a better weapon from those existing weapons. But those weapons are rare. Like You have to be a pretty elite PVM to have those. They're very expensive. And so this is a more accessible, high-tier weapon, which will allow you to meet those accuracy Okay, so it's not going to have an effect. Okay, Do that's all you have to say, Modjack. The tier 99 um, 2H sort of will not have an effect. Okay, fair enough. Weapons. That's the intention. So beyond, on that note then, so if Masterwork Sword is kind of, I think it's fair to say in its current positioning, it's meant to be useful, but the top end PVM is going to still be chasing the boss drop kind of top tier stuff, right? Is that fair to say? It's a yeah, very exactly. useful thing. Yeah. It's yeah. valuable, but it's not, you know, it's not going to be top, top tier. In that case then, uh, when it comes to this update, Breezy, how are we trying to consider the long-term value beyond the 110 for those players where, you know, maybe the Master Sword's not too relevant or they make the Master Ward Sword and they're done? Uh, is that something we're considering in the design of mining smithing? Um, so as far as the update goes, like, 
all these updates will have something for you to do and achieve regardless of like whether or not it, it's it's necessarily useful to you so mass work sword might not be useful to, to absolutely everyone but there's still a best on work uh, a, sorry a best and slot pickaxe uh, that's augmentable to go for um and still a bunch of skill and content uh there as well okay. so if you're if, if you already hit that um then there's going to be new things that you probably just want to collect anyway um mm -hmm. but if it's, it's not for you then is, it's just not for you is the yeah, sorry. Is are we, are we going to have any new stuff gonna be a primal equipment that you can make, or is it somehow? mainly just focus on the armor and weapons, etc.? Like, it, is there going to be any uh, kind of bow arrowheads or anything like that? So we'll be sticking the, uh, strictly with mining and smithing right now, um, which means melee, uh, melee armor and melee weapons. Um, so the melee armor follows the same precedent that all the all the other four smithing armors do. Uh, which is that it's uh, tank armor, it's not Hello, augmentable, Maria. it degrades in combat. Um, and it I'm going to ask the question for you, you in chat. You upgrade it a little bit. Um, and because it's primal as well, we're going to be looking at taking the primal armor aesthetic that, currently exists, the... sorry, that currently exists in the game and remaster it. Actually, um, I don't know. So uh, we won't be adding any sort of update. new types of <laughs> weapons or uh, whatever. But um, we looked at sort of what, what, what the most popular stuff would be. Uh, and we went with the masterwork. Sorry, not the masterwork. The primal uh, two-handed sword uh, and the armor itself. Um, we'll also have a primal pickaxe. Um, the primal oh my pickaxe god! Look how bad right people uses, are. Why uh, are you mad? For, um, pickaxes uh, from back in the day. So we can't need what to. What are you expecting? For that, um, but you'll see some <laughs> in the uh, in the blog uh, which show off like what we kind of want to do, and we do want some feedback on that as well. Um, if you've read the blog, you'll see that. I've, uh, put in some questions as to what sort of avenue you want us to go down with with remastering these. Um, since we have an opportunity, to, sorry, since we have an opportunity to do it, um, we thought it'd be nice to get the community's involvement on it and let us know what they think. On that note, do you want to do you want to show what we're looking for? So, so what is the feedback we're looking for the community for on I'm... this update? I think firstly, like, is the update overall, and then I know you've got some specific stuff that launched today on top of mm -hmm. that that you want people to give a, a their take on. Yeah, so um, if we can show the mass, uh, sorry, the, the primal two H sword. I'm just saying, uh, the two H. You've got, you've got images the of only that. thing it needs to do is be um, a so yeah. Power, so what we've got going on here, and um, that's variation. It, it doesn't a, need to do so anything else. Direct remaster it can have literally uh, no effect. Sword. It just uh, has to have two space same, range, and it's, everyone's gonna want it. Uh, and then C is everybody's gonna want it. So what we're really asking you here is what you'd like to do. Okay. Oh, uh, for some reason, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really sure Oh God! Uh, hey, everyone in chat, uh, type A, B, or C. I'll type. I'll type. In engineering, don't use. The I'll same type the one in their chat. The armor does. Do you, do you like again, A, B, or C? Since we're going to be or remastering that anyway, this is an opportunity to change that if if that's what the community wishes. I have and no that's clue. We, uh, I mean, B looks so the just, flashiest. Like, uh, so like, I'll say B. Particular say in the topic, but we thought it'd be nice to get people. Team C in chat at least, I think. Yeah, I was, like, I, I, I was just oh, seeing that at the corner of okay, my eye well, there. Uh, like uh, <laughs> uh, peeked over. Um, but it's also going to be the same for the okay, pickaxe. Everyone's if, like, see. If we have the image for that as well, please. Really? See, it doesn't even Thank look you. like a. So again, I mean, I guess this is a new really model, big. so it's not actually uh, a remaster. Um, but we've still presented the different types of options for the wow, colors. Wow, look at the so old primal pickaxe. <laughs> black and gray color scheme with A. It's we go for the red color scheme with B, or maybe we we slightly tweak. I don't freaking know. It looks like we see. Um, or maybe you like some I sort mean, of variation, looks... um, or like combination of these. So um, A looks up, uh, the most functional. Uh, thread on Reddit. Uh, there's a. also a spot on Discord and the official C... Discord as well. And I'll put C a does look later just to get some more focused feedback around exactly but what you want from doesn't, this. Doesn't doesn't um, see. We couldn't get it a full done in time, like unfortunately, a... to to match with the blog. Um, it kind so of reminds me of like a dragon. It'd be great just to hear. It's like a dragon pickaxe. Doesn't it look too much um, like dragon? Uh, my favorite person is the person in chat. Like A said looks like one is looks sick. different. It's like a primal <laughs> pickaxe. It's, like, it's like the nice silver classic. color that, that I used to have. Uh, we also but, have the but primal then again, armor. Um, the primal armor is out. orange, so, so I don't this, know. We don't have any options for this. What we we strictly wanted stare. to stick with a full remaster uh, because we know how iconic uh, the armor is. Um, a lot of people have a keepsake. Oh, um, and it's, wait, the it's just armor always had a face look, on it. I, I never really realized cool. the armor um, so had a face on it the whole again, time. Faithful to that. Um, and, and basically just make it more high res than it was before. Um, so no options in here in particular. Um, we're still curious what your thoughts are on that. Wait a minute. Um, 
Wait a minute. Yeah. Hold up. So when it comes to Maria. our plans for the update as a whole, what kind of feedback are we going to be looking you at? We obviously got have primal detailed a lot as like blog. You were a saying cosmetic. Are you going to have to get it again? Giving some context to our ideas of 110. I know 110 is our bigger focus. Is it I fair mean, to I, say I that guess you're, you're just going to have the old one and then also the new one. Outside of that 110 question, there's, a, there's less room for change in the time we have, but there is room for it to inform what we could do with wood cutting and fletching and whatever comes after that as well. Is that the right way to kind of for people's expectations to go into this one? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. What we have right here, as I say, is an example of what Modjack's skilling plan is all about. Um, Still missing so it's, it's like, armor like, prices. Oh, okay, okay. Our, our skilling plan. Um, <laughs> Just, 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 just to say, um, like here's here's what to expect. Here's here's something physical in detail which you can expect soon enough, and that will sort of form the basis of what these look like going forward. Now, every every skill is just going to be different, so it so it might not always look this way, uh, but this is just an example of it. Um, so where we are right now, yeah, um, like you say, Huli, we're not able to um, make make uh, the most changes, but we're still looking on feedback, uh, just for how this feels as the as a package frick? update um and then some of the small Make details primal as well. um, tier so 90 to 95 um no it's, if you also have any quality content. of life suggestions and whatnot, like Mojack earlier men uh sorry what like Mojack mentioned earlier um we might not have time to address like certain quality of life uh and whatnot but we really do want to um so if we have time uh we have a sort of list of things that we'd like to look at such as maybe make x for smithing um, do we address um, Stone Spirit somewhere on a on a drop table or um, something with the effects? Oh Maybe, yeah, uh, wait, that, Primal that, Stone that, that, Spirit. That, <laughs> so there's a there's also a few things there that, that we want to look at as well. So definitely get oh, no. um, as much as you can to us. We'll try to address as much as possible, but this one's definitely. Oh on course great, right more Stone Spirit. I think with chat, they'd like to see make X over anything else. Yeah, <laughs> you just, yeah you that just one. Blew up that was the slightly. that was the one thing I put in the actual project aims was like, please, please, please try to look at this if you have time. Um, Wait, yeah. what's the X? I missed. That's really it. good though. That's what great to X? see that you say yeah. it and people get excited. That's why we have it. Um, <laughs> on that note, I was going to ask about um, the. Huh? So there was some confusion because we say one thing in the blog and then I think people even miss out or you spoke, I'm not sure. Um, what is, what is make and X? is not augmentable in this update? Because that was a point where people weren't quite clear. I just want to make sure we clear it up on stream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So the Primal Armor, again, follows the same precedent of uh, Aura Calcum, Necronium, etc., all the way to Eldarune, which is that it can be augmented. Um, same for the Primal Weapons. Nothing Primal can be uh, augmented, but you will be able to augment the Masterwork 2H sword and the special pickaxe. Yeah, that makes sense. Yet, that that, um, that makes really went sense. into too much detail uh, into the regular primal pickaxe. Uh, again, also like follows the same precedent as the other smithable pickaxes, which is that academy augmented. That's kind of the benefit of going for that extra one. There's some people I've seen. It seems like there's uh, some split discussion on it. Some people seem to feel like it might be a mistake that we've made it unaugmentable uh, primal. Uh, some people feel like it's probably the right decision. Do you want to just explain people your thinking behind it, uh, especially for any future discussion? It might be really helpful. Mm -hmm. I mean, this came this came up in the original mining and smithing rework that we were creating. I mean, this new this new weapon is functionally like dry gold here, um, and obviously dry golds are a bit old hat now, but um, they're designed as a leveling method, right? You can make them fairly easily. Like it, it doesn't take very much time or effort to make one of these weapons. And there needs to be something about it that doesn't just trivialize old boss drops, I would say. It's you know it's not super important to protect those old boss drops. But at the same time they shouldn't be completely pointless in the game because there's just something uh, there's there's some other object in the game which is trivial to obtain that makes them completely redundant. So it's essentially that or, or like or augmentability emerged in the mining and smithing rework as something that we could turn on and off to give a get give an item real value above another item of the same tier. So Screw that's the same logic. mining and well. smithing. You have to jump through a lot of why to get best any of and the fact that it's augmentable. Why is screw mining and smithing? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Uh, so would you say though for you know I I know this will come to a shock of many escaper out there, but there are quite a few people who pvm without augments you know maybe they haven't got their invention level up <laughs> what you know who, quite a, who pvm uh, without aug your head around without you augments. Doing, you might have scared them off a bit do you, would this armor have viability for them do you think show me who's doing that yeah i mean as far as like the show armor goes it's still it's still tier 90 um armor it is tank show armor, yourself so it's not going to be the best 
um, but it but it still gives gives people a a, a step up. Um, but as Monjack Boring. says as well, it's last not, time you uh, swift? Uh, primal is intended to well, be a training method. It's not necessarily intended to fill not not Gideon since niche, they did the master um, or anything like that. But um, now that's not to say like Monjack. They could make it very uh, meaningful. It's not to say that the, if that the master was, work that was very elsewhere. useful. Um, I know like mod. Uh, had some so it could be boring right now, like but it doesn't cameras. have to stay boring. Um, but what, what, it could what we're be focused great. on directly right now is is the skilling method for 100 to 110 being being primal. Uh, apparently, the blog says tier 85 for primal. Is it tier 85 or tier 90? Just for clarity. It will start at tier 85 and it should end at tier 90 when you're uh, at plus five upgrade. Yeah, right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you yeah, can makes upgrade sense. Them. Cool. <clears throat> Oh, right, chat, over to you. Uh, oh, actually, no, before I do that, Breezy, is there anything else you want to talk about with regards to the mining swiffing update that we may not have covered? Same to you, Mod Jack. I think we covered um, everything. Yeah, I picked up a couple of questions in the chat. Um, someone was asking all the skills. Tier 120 we do. Necro gear. So I would want I would want to clarify, like we're not locked into anything here. So we want to ship. We want to make this update. Uh, we want to ship this update. No. We want to see how see how it goes down. See how people feel about it. But it's not the kind of plan that we can't change our minds on. So if there's a better way we can do things, if actually 120s turn out to be a better plan, even even if we think like say actually smithing to 110 makes sense and fletching to 110 makes sense, but agility to 110 just doesn't make sense for some reason. We can we can just. Do agility 120 we're not we're not locked into anything in particular heck yeah 120 um, there agility. are reasons for combat balance to do things in a particular way with the combat and the combat big ba skills. great but again that doesn't it doesn't lock us into anything in particular so we can always change our mind and we can always like take your input um on, on how we do things but uh, assuming that we do go ahead with gradually rolling out skills to 110 um i think i generally we would expect to pair them where it makes sense to pair them so you can't do I'm mining sorry. and smithing separately. It just doesn't really make sense. Um, but agility doesn't link to any other particular skill. It doesn't need to be shipped at the same time as any other skill. So we just do that as a separate update. Um, if there was, like, I mean, fire making is the one that's really bothered me. So on the, on, on my <laughs> little um, on my little spreadsheet, I had like wood cutting, fletching, and then just underneath in tiny text it said fire making lol. And then I, I, I removed it in the end because we don't want to bloat the size of the update for all the reasons I went into earlier. But like. No, what's wrong, Mod Jack? Although fire making is in a sense one of the easiest ones to level, it all but like it just doesn't feel like a very good update to me. So I'd want to do Why something. Why not one ten fire making? Um, Make fire but, um, making great. Yeah, it, it, it really depends on the update. Like, Period. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't do anything. To make a stronger update, or we can split them apart because one individual skill. I don't want a too... skill anymore. Like say, say we do decide that it just genuinely needs a rework. I mean, and so the size of that update creeps up. Okay, cool. So we I, only do. Maria, I think like, the reason why you don't want a skill like is because the there's not a reason to, to skill. That. So, yeah, but if they added a flexible. reason to skill, I think it's not that bad. To me, obviously, in my role, especially, which is like. If you're just skilling for the sake it's, of it's skilling, it's boring been, as frick, right? Uh, in, in but if you're skilling times, to but, get these but upgrades the that, that we have a you know, roadmap we've given that you, enhances the, the okay game you're playing, kind of I think skilling is to, quite to, meaningful. Up to take the uh, level cap to 110 on You don't like it. <laughs> okay. These plans will change if this frick. doesn't feel right or if you know you are, as a community are just not comfortable with what we're doesn't feel right for runescape to you and it feels misplaced same thing with if we go yeah actually this feels really comfortable and then we come out with uh the well maria you know, mining thing and wood cutting and fletching looks like jags year, is like, planning actually, on pumping a lot of now that we've got skills. hands on with it maybe we feel so, a bit different um... it's gonna be a continual conversation um so we're we're kind of giving you this full picture now we're not going to have too much those new to XP, tell you. I think those about double when we XP get close weekends to, uh, uh, might be more thing, we want might be so more valuable than we thought. Picture, but what we're doing this story so you can get a real feel of what we mean by these skilling updates. <laughs> you and I can hope make that's all the new things. Something that's been a great yeah. start to getting a full picture of when we're saying this, what it actually and you means. Like, you won't like skilling. And then obviously in future we're going to do a mix of showing you what we need to get feedback and involve you, but also keeping a little surprise uh, here or there back too. So. Um, yeah, thanks for joining the conversation already. Um, questions. Uh, oh, actually, I want to touch on a question because uh, I've responded to this on Reddit, but obviously only a certain amount of people will see it in a Reddit thread when I respond. What the hell is happening to inverted skill capes? It is a relevant question um, to uh, something when we're talking about skilling up. Prestige. We jokingly said it should have been on the roadmap. 
almost certainly should have probably after seeing that being the one question I saw really outstanding from uh, the Here comes the prestige. Jack, can you assure people it is 100% being talked about and their cries for inverted skill capes are... Every single update, like every single piece of content we work on, regardless of whether it doesn't make any sense whatsoever, someone in the in the early design meeting says, can we make inverted skill capes the reward for this piece of content? The only reason basically that we haven't done it is that we don't want to just dump them into the game. We want them to be an accomplishment. We want them to be something that... that, that feels rewarding to get. So the very second there's a piece of content where they make sense to put them in, um, even if it's a little bit of a stretch, we want to put them in together. We were all desperate to get them into the game. We just haven't had the right piece of content to attach them to yet. So yeah, it, I think, yeah, we, we, it, we, are const- we are constantly talking about them. We haven't forgotten about them. We just want to make it sure has in the been right quite a while at this point. Um, it is something that we're looking for an opportunity as soon as we can at this point. Fresh is start was two years ago. So yeah, the right release, but it's not like we would let this run another three, four years down the road, would we? Yeah, we we we, we want to get them in as soon as soon as we can. Like I mean, like people yeah, are I mean, saying we prestige, this one, like right? it's gonna be prestige. Oh, that doesn't, no, that doesn't that doesn't seem right. It like, it, it makes make the most sense. sense. I, mean, I, know, I know people right? will like, hate it, but it makes the most. Chat sense. has been suggesting it, which is the interesting thing. So it'd be interesting to get your your opinions on that. It's chat. a delicate balance, uh, right? Because we want they're going to say prestige and access, but we also want them to be something which is has some degree of prestige to it, even if it's not like the most prestigious thing in the game. It needs to have some. If it's just relatively obtainable, then that's not that's not the right place for them. Yeah, because I mean, there's definitely a lot of people that put a lot of heart and soul into Fresh Start Worlds and, and you know, time to get them. Yep. Uh, obviously, some people obviously then also spent a lot of GP to get them afterwards. Hello. But um, Fresh Start uh, Worlds. That is always a factor we have to consider. Tell us later here. There are people out there who would be like, if we dropped it very easily, it would be a difficult thing. But yeah, we it just know. I want you to know, chat. We we have always talking about this. We're always looking at it. Um, I would say, to be honest with you, it's been a background conversation over since Fresh Start Worlds. Like it's something that's been there, but we haven't really put. It hasn't been like top of mind. It's very much a lot more top of mind nowadays uh, among the team. We're thinking about it a lot more often. We we're looking for that Got three thousand total. A lot more actively than we were when we were. Oh, kind of you're just, saying I can make you the new thing hey, as well? Have we got a plan for if, this yet? It, okay, no, well, yet. I can't so if it's something to you, untradeable. Like it moving forward in that sense, and we are listening to you. Um, it I mean, if it's tradable, I'll make it. But if it's not tradable, then I can't uh, do Twist anything about it. Twister's asking what your cat's name is, Mod Jack. Cat content has was, to be was served. She, you served the cat. Was she, was she in the background? I didn't. I didn't see her. Yeah. Uh, her name is Poe. <laughs> oh, Poe. She, she is a very. She's a very elderly cat now. She's. She's nineteen, eighteen. Oh she's, wow! She's getting, she's getting wow, a bit. Wow, Jack has a like a dark light in the now. background. Yeah, her brother died <laughs> a few years awesome. ago, and. Um, She's a, I want that. She's a very snuggly cat now. She mostly just goes and curls up on my wife every night. Alex Undev said, Hey, I so I voted against Prestige, but I'm actually open to the idea now. Interesting. Um, yeah, the, the survey is really awesome. Uh, as a note on that, actually, I want to get back to the topic, but um, we are talking about if we can maybe do a follow up to it. And what, oh my God. Definitely, you'll see us still at a content level. Oh my God. So, hey, this is what we learned from. So many people what do we're not want right the Prestige. The <laughs> For Sanctum, and obviously the feedback we've been asking you for. I have some bad have news for you all. Like, hey, this is what we've taken away from your feedback, and this is what we're going to do. Um, we are talking about doing that for the survey. I can't promise, because it's our first time doing it. It may or may not make sense, well, or it may just I mean, be something we can't find okay. the time for. I will say but, um, if like 90% of the that, people don't want a prestige, like, hey, here's then, some of the things we've taken away that we can talk then about. Then I guess they won't do it. Uh, other ones we might not be able to. Okay, so let's talk uh, questions, because we do not have much time left. I've got uh, to say something really questions? important in response to the chat. Prestige is, is P-O-E, unhealthy like for poet, the mental of the RS like player base. Uh, I thought Tony Toppy too. Uncultured <laughs> swines, we all are. Clearly. I feel like that's that's a you issue. <laughs> uh, if, if prestige yeah, hurts your mental. Uh, someone asked, uh, how, like, how do why, you augment the pickaxe compared why, to Urban Why do you have to like obsess um, over skilling? Like, so I don't. I feel like 90, that's not Jagex's fault. Just like Elder Rune. So the. Earthen Song is a better Elder Rune ish pickaxe. The next tier above that will be Primal. Primal will be the, the best buffable pickaxe, and then the new augmentable pickaxe, uh, which we've yet to reveal, will be the better Primal version because it's augmented. Just to clarify that. Chimp, chimp like you got me, by the way. Yeah, the, the Masterwork. I mean, such a it, it's probably not going to be called Masterwork. It's going to be called, like, um, I don't know. Will ah uh, uh, mint kick out elder work or like demon work or something? I don't know something else that's like Will one ten. Future, 
added skills, assuming we ever make future skills, um, would they go to 110, 120? Like, would we ever... I guess really the question we could probably answer there is, would you ever take a new skill to 110 as a launch level, or would it always be between 99 to 120 in your current realm of thinking? I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to rule anything out, but it hadn't even occurred to me that we were taking a new skill to 110, so no, I wouldn't. Like, the 110s are specifically supposed to serve the purpose of creating... Necromancy like, good, should have not small been enough to allow released lots of other updates, as skill and content. They serve a very specific purpose. It's not that that number itself is like There's somehow a great number and we would intentionally launch a skill to 110, so no, I, I, it hadn't even occurred to me, so I would... I, Again, I don't want to rule anything out. If for some reason that was the right decision, I can't imagine why that would be the right decision. But if it was, we should do it. But I wouldn't mm. have thought that it would be. Uh, there's a really important topic we haven't talked about, combat skills. Um, yes. Obviously, taking those up further has a lot of implications. Would we do those to 110? Would we do those to 120? Are we not planning to do them at all? Where's our current heads at on that? At, so at the moment, this discussion is with the combat devs, um, especially Mod Ryan. The original plan for this was that we would take attack to 110, but we didn't want to rush that out. Um, attack? So, like, it has implications for combat balancing. So we, we oh, need to leave, to, like, leave to it with wield, the combat devs to make the right to decision, wield a 110. We don't okay, want to yeah, tie yeah. them down to a particular sort of intention for the update. Like, if the right thing to do is just launch them all to 110 together or launch them all to 120 together or do them separately. Yeah, no. Like, you, know, you have to launch all, all, all of them together. together. It doesn't make any sense. Game. So it, Imagine, that imagine if, like, on, that's, freaking... That's a little bit of a... If, like, range a went to 110 I think. Like, usually and then the other styles didn't. We don't talk about the like, idea what? of a combat team owning the update in that sense, right? In, in, in that kind of full sense of... That for autonomy is that's that's part of the new system, right? Is we have this combat team who are dedicated to combat updates, and that kind yeah, of I mean, essentially, essentially the devs who are experienced, right? the devs who are experienced and knowledgeable with combat updates. Um, like, why don't want to do a, is is sort of impose a sort of like a numerical strategy that just says, oh, all skills mm. have to work the same way no matter what. Like, we have to make the right decision um, on a per update basis, on a per skill basis. So yeah. It, 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 it would be it, it would be essentially a combat decision for what for what makes sense, and we decided in the discussion of the design for this update that, like, rushing one ten out with this update probably wasn't the right thing to do. But we can revisit mm -hmm. we can revisit that decision in, in yeah. the future and, and do what yeah we there need was to do. early iterations of this right where we were going to do mining smithing what was it attack strength and attack and strength or defense yeah, yeah. Uh, attack strength yeah. so like that's the Oh, obviously, this is before oh we, we decided what we we're going to do, but those are the kind of discussions that um, happened, and we essentially thought about the implications of combat skills are a lot more. So, yeah. Uh, Breezy, did you see any questions you want to ask, ask uh, answer yeah. about um, money smithing? I did indeed, yeah. Just after I answered that last question about Earth and Song, I saw a bunch of people being like, please, I just made my Earth and Song. Um, <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll need your Earth and Song to upgrade to this new one, so don't. Don't throw away. Um, just Don't want to destroy your Earth and Song, and song on pickaxe. Release anyway, because you need to get them somehow. <laughs> uh, but no, we're we're making it part of the upgrade process um, because yeah, we don't want people to lose out on that work. And and it's just nice having that really long form, um, sort of like step on step design. We want to keep that going. A lot of people in the chat are saying um, Primal is ninety, but Elder Rune is already ninety. So how is how is it better? El so Elder Rune is. It requires 90 to use, but as a balance and compromise in the original rework, it's a it actually only has the stats of an 80 item upgradable to 85. So, so Elder Rune is 80 to 85, and Primal is 85 to 90. So they are they are sort of artificially nerfed slightly. Um, in the in the same sense of like like we we, we talked about with the Master Two Hander, like we want tier to matter more. But again, because because this smith gear is primarily intended as a leveling method and therefore it's relatively easy to obtain a single item like it's it's, it's not very much effort compared to a to a to a boss drop to get a single item um it doesn't really make sense for that to be so powerful um to be to be an on tier item for its level of I mean, I'm just I would saying prefer what they could have done evenly, definitely if they really wanted the, the right smithing thing to matter we, we can always revisit that sort of balancing in the future if we feel like we need to but it it seems like just it's do the what they did with masterwork Make the the new like one hey, uh, item. 
Oh, sorry, go. Brady. Make it required There's to a lot burn of and, that and exekill. Change the mass work to Just burn and exekill. Uh, burn the two lang swords, um, and you have a better weapon. Not necessarily sure about that. Smith we it can together. We have a conversation about it. Anyway, Combine just, it with so the primal conversation and make a um, freaking I don't know. Yeah. Elder God Blade or I mean, something. Fred RS was immediately like, oh my god, please. But yes, that'll be... Oh, there's quite a lot of yes as well. Sounds like a, a conversation can... for the combat team. <laughs> I think, yeah, yeah it's, it, that, that again is essentially a combat weapon. discussion. From a skilling point of view, it doesn't really make any difference from a skilling point of view what the weapon does. But from a combat point of view, if 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 they feel that there is or isn't a need for a, for an increased range melee weapon, then that's, that's sort of where that, where that comes from. Mm-hmm. Great. Right. Uh, I'm going to wrap up because we promised uh, that we would make sure that we uh, don't run this over. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that was a good start to the discussion, but this is the start of the discussion. Please go to our Discord. That is discord.gg forward slash rs and find the right click examine area in there. You will see three sections. You will see RCE chat, you'll see RCE what? dev questions and you'll see RCS, RCE player questions. Dev questions is where you'll see kind of the threads forum format, uh, where you can join the discussion and leave your feedback in a way that we can I find more easily than a live chat. Chat is where you can chat to the devs if they're around, um, okay. or also other players about your Where's thoughts. And then underneath, you've got player questions where you can leave questions that our devs will get to as they can, Escape. or community management will do, will do what we can as well. Uh, that's a great place, but again, we encourage you to talk where you are comfortable talking. We really want to make Discord kind of a just a center hub of what we're doing um but we what are always going to be paying where? attention on reddit we're going to be joining the where, conversation where, there too we're also going to be on find socials the channels? so talk wherever you want to talk Browse there channels. are threads up already on reddit as well should you want to get involved and obviously there'll be oh, social here we posts go. Right up as well make sure you go to runescape.com maybe grab a cup of tea put your feet up and sit down it's a long read no, no, uh Rubik was saying it. it's four thousand words it? i never actually counted it but it's a very long read okay, thank you to mod jack mod freezy for putting a ton of effort into it but that will run you through kind of everything we're thinking Questions? in detail and what we really want to know is do you like 110 skilling do you get what we're trying to do are you behind it if if not we want to know your concerns should oh it be something God. we don't do or it's something that we need to consider uh, different options for when it comes to mining smithing we just want to know your general impressions, things that we can maybe think about for future skilling updates where they're a little bit less into it. development but we uh, that we can actually shape. But we definitely have some concept feedback that we'd love your uh, opinion on. And of course, even if you have feedback on mining smithing, we still want to hear it. There's always the chance of small tweaks. Maybe it's something we take in for launch, maybe post-launch. You want knows, But tea? it's still great to share it. Um, so do, just talk no to us. Here. Um it's been really great to be out here and just kind of kick start this conversation with all of you. And it's one we'll continue. And like I said, we'll make sure we do a follow up to say, like okay, this is our plan. This is what we're going to do based on the feedback we got um, so that we can make sure it feels aligned to what you all said too. Uh, Mod Jack, Mod Breezy, anything else you want to cover? No, I think, no, I think, I think we'll, be, we'll be hanging out on socials. I'm, um, I'm yeah. still reading chat for questions, but. Um... <laughs> yeah, by all means. Um, I mean, I don't even have anything feedback, to add. Like... Uh, whether it's at me on Twitter or any of the other uh, team members that have been in Everything they said was pretty straightforward. Um, on Reddit, uh, Discord, and Twitter. Um, I'm pretty bad at disengaging from Discord on the evening after a stream, so I'll probably be on. <laughs> <laughs> ignoring my children for most of the evening. Perfect. Perfect. No, so uh, let me just double check something just before we sign off. Okay, cool. Right. Uh, yeah, when is the beach event? Sign off. I thought it would happen after get double XP. Out. Go fight him, he's great. Uh, for someone who hasn't admittedly PVM for a while, um, since I got, like, I, I think killed Raziel, to be honest. I've been doing a lot of skilling and trying to get my Herbie to 120. Uh, he was, that was fun to get me back in the rhythm of it. Um, if you're an experienced PVMer, you'll probably destroy him. But uh, for me, who was a little bit rusty, uh, <laughs> I did well with um, <laughs> kill times are not something I would Everyone's share, cor sorry, correcting um, Aussie's And then gender. also, uh, do not forget that tomorrow we have the Sanctum of Rebirth beta going out. It's oh, not the, the beta. rebirth we're betering, um, but yes. what it is is the tier 95. We, we, I will 100% so be, be your chance checking that out. To dive in and, and to give out I'm going to do a baked fish brains tomorrow. Concepts. Remember, with brain it will and not bush. be final. You will see basically a we're gonna, placeholder we're gonna item. We're going to in depth go over the magic weapon. I think the thing you saw. Uh, I already have my stream. opinions. But it will give you a chance to get hands on with potential ways we take the tier 95 weapon. We're going to go with whichever one the community most likes. So that'll be really fun. 
In terms of future things Look to talk about coming up, we are going to follow up on discussions <laughs> we started about Sanctum <laughs> and this. And what I will say is that we uh, might be Jack, a bit Jack to has a like a freaking has a freaking deep neck beard. Oh my god! From the skilling boss, <laughs> um, and then obviously everything that comes after that too. With that, as I promised, uh, I would close this out by six. Are they exactly what you imagine the, you. Have a great the, week, the to, to look see like you out there Maria. talking and giving your feedback on this. Appreciate your time, and otherwise, we'll see you next week on stream. Tara, thanks everyone. Yeah. Oh, wait, the one last thing. thing. Oh my god. What, 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 my what? team will laugh because that's a meme internally for me. Uh, in any meetings, I'm like, one last thing, because uh, I always forget. We, of course, need to raid. Um, and I think from what I'm being told in my ear, raid? we're going to Omid. Omid fishy is, Wizard uh, 5? Uh, right now, so we're gonna go actually over. Fishy? Obviously, Omid is one of our PBM masters, among many other talents. Um, so we're going to jump over to Omid. So if you want to raid a streamer and hang out with uh, a great content creator, we're going to go over there right now. So let's go raid. Now okay, I'll say goodbye. Well, Bye. Done leeching off their stream. Okay. So, um, I'm also probably going to end stream pretty soon, but let me quickly just digest what they said. Also, this freaking long blog here um, has a bunch of stuff, and I didn't read it yet, so I'm, I might be... I might be missing some some context a little bit, but I think I have the complete gist of it. So, their current plan is to bring a number of skills to 110 because they don't have enough content, or they don't have, like, yeah, they don't have enough content to, to reasonably increase a skill to 120, which makes sense, because imagine how bad it looks if you have a skill like mining and smithing to go to 120 and you open up the skill thing and you see stuff going to 110 and then nothing after 110 it just looks really bad so i i like this approach i think it is it it is it is a it, of course as as the players we would rather them just release a bunch of 120s and have a bunch of content all the way to 120 but if they're saying they can't do that then this is the next best thing it's it's a pretty reasonable compromise you're, you're right rather than just waiting forever for them to be a 120 and then them just making no updates i think the 110 is a good compromise i'm on jagex's side here um so with the actual mining smithing, uh, <laughs> the actual mining and smithing update, it just seems like they have primal, and you see here primal will well the pickaxe says, uh okay well the pickaxe just has a bunch of higher stats fine. There's gonna be a masterwork two handed sword. Not really many details here. I don't okay it says there's no special attack or effect. It's just it's just gonna be a tier ninety nine weapon. Okay, well tier one hundred weapon, tier ninety nine effectively tier one hundred in stats. Uh, I don't think they say, I don't think they say it's gonna be a halberd. Oh wait, as with trimmed masterwork armor requiring essence from. Level and Torva, the Masterwork 2H will require. Oh! Twin Fury Blades, Drygores, and Chaotix! Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. In my bank. What do I see here? Boom! Five Twin Fury weapons. I have totally, totally predicted this. Uh, definitely just didn't, wasn't able to sell this from my Gold Reaper grind. I am uh, so prepared to make these these weapons. Okay. Uh, okay, but but honestly, honestly. They're probably not going to be, like, it's probably not going to be that valuable because what, from what it seems like, this 2H doesn't seem, 
very useful. Although, I will say I'm very sad. I am very, very sad because I literally bought an Exekill for PvP just to just because it was a tier 95 hurricane. And this is going to be better. So I basically just wasted like 1.6 bill for, no, for basically no reason. Uh, oh well, unlucky for me. Uh... Okay, so I don't really... I mean, there's stone spirits, sure. How are you going to get the stone spirits? Uh, who knows? Maybe they're going to add it to some boss. I don't know. Uh... Yeah, I'm not really sure if there's anything really... really useful here, other than that. I'm, I am kind of sad... But I also kind of understand why they didn't make tier masterwork armor again. I because they're making this masterwork two age. Is there also a masterwork pickaxe? No, it, it's just it's just a new pickaxe that, that that's unnamed right now. It's probably gonna have some like crazy name like pickaxe of of elder energy or something. I don't know. So the only weapon is the 2H. Eh. Which is okay. I mean, it's better than nothing. I am a melee somewhat enjoyer, so I would like melee stuff. You got the cash, mate? Look, it doesn't matter if I have the cash or not. Wasting money is wasting money. And wasting money bad, okay? Alright, uh, last thing I want to see. Is there anything on the Discord that's worth looking at? I don't really, I, I just took a quick glance earlier. I don't really think there is. Why does Masterwork Sword exist? What does Jagex expect us to do with it? It has no special attack or passive. I mean, I will, I will say that it does exist because you have a tier 100 hurricane. That's literally it. Because you can't do it other, anywhere else. That's the only reason why it exists. Uh, I don't know. D does anyone here have a question they want to ask Jagex? Because I'll, I'll put the question in here if you guys have a question. Like, I'll just type it myself. I don't really have anything, because they pretty much said everything that they were gonna do. Because of course, like I would have, I would have preferred, I would have preferred that the tier ninety nine weapon was actually better than everything. Like, look right here, okay. I would have preferred in my in my creation of this. I would have preferred that this weapon was actually insanely powerful, and instead of requiring the Twin Fury Blades, Chaotix, and Drygores, it requires the Exekill, Langs. Actually, it, it might not even require the Langs, because the Langs kind of have their own thing. But it at least requires the Exekill. And, like, I don't know, freaking the, the... What are those useless things that got power craft? The Kopeshes, or, you know? <laughs> like, it requires the Kopeshes and the... Uh, yes, a freaking throwing a Zeros God Sword in there, you know? Just melt it all down into this new weapon, and the Masterwork 2H is actually good. I would have preferred that. But that's not what they want, so, you know, it is what it is. Alright. Uh, I don't really think I have anything else. But yeah, overall, I'm 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 glad they're at least putting content into the game. Everyone uh start getting all of your skills to not, uh 39 mil XP. Level 110 is the new the new goal post. 110 all everyone. <laughs>